I think that where we're going to start seeing generative AI really blowing up is on animated films and heavy CGI projects. You will have artists use traditional tools to essentially set the look and do keyframes and effectively say, for this sequence, this is what the car looks like. This is what the sky looks like. And then use generative AI to roll that across every shot and then go in and spot fix. But if you look at you look at like a workflow that works like that it's like how is that any different than traditional keyframe animation where in terms of like actually doing keyframes hand animated shipping them off to you know south korea for a bunch of animators to do the in betweening and it comes back it's it is it is no different it just shifts the human from like the laborious applying the same lighting rig to every single shot making sure the materials are applied get rid of that aspect of it and have the humans focus on in this shot, the way that backlight's shining, the subsurface is a little too strong. So we need, to tweak, we need to tweak that shot. I think it frees up the humans from those, you know, those non-creative menial tasks and allows I mean, you to I think put I'm more 